Good morning, Earthlings. What was that? We get the weirdest sounds in this forest. I think I know what that is. It's a hummingbird. And if they got hummingbirds, I'll have to put together a hummingbird feeder and try to get some flowers in my yard. Oh boy, hummingbirds are really cool little animals. I'm so glad that they're finally my neighbors. I better get busy. I better get going. <gasps> I'm gonna have hummingbirds. <laughs> Woo! Well, you can hardly wait, can you, Howard? <laughs> Oh, welcome to Cher's cooking show again. <laughs> but it's not for us. It's for the hummingbirds. This is how to make hummingbird food. Why do I have wonky hair today? <laughs> I have wonky hair. I have Boris Johnson hair. <laughs> we love him. Anyway, we, we have some water. And we need some sugar. They have to have the sugar. I'll get that right now. I have it hiding. Because well, you know how I don't eat sugar. <laughs> I eat a lot of sugar, but I hide it anyway. This is this really good kind of sugar. We don't want to feed them crappy stuff. I mean, they're, they're pretty much putting their lives in our hands. We better give them the right kind of sugar. I'm going to boil the water, and then I'm going to mix it together. Ha <laughs> do it backwards. So here goes. See, the thing is that this water is from a well and it doesn't take long at all before it's green. And I tried drinking it when it was green thinking I was getting my salad too. I got sick. Anyway, I don't drink green water and I don't want my hummingbirds to drink it either so I'm going to boil it and take out all the green stuff. You know, I don't have to hurt them. So anyway, welcome to my house. What you've never seen a living room in a kitchen before. I bet you've never seen bedroom, kitchen, living room, uh, dining room <laughs> before. <laughs> I live in a 16 foot trailer. I love it. That means I only have to clean this little bitty space. Watch me clean my house. I'm clean. <laughs> it's clean out now. Anyway, no, I know. I haven't done my dishes today. Well, I decided that royalty doesn't do dishes. What? I'm not royalty? <laughs> You're right. All right, I'll do the dishes. Anyway, we're getting going with this first. I'm going to go ahead and boil the water. Now it says one part sugar to four parts water. So if you use four cups and one cup, that's a lot of stuff, right? How about if you use a half a cup and two cups? <laughs> Will that work? That's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to put two cups of water and a half a cup of sugar. That way I don't have a whole bunch. That way I can make it fresh every time. Because it doesn't look like those two little hummingbirds are going to eat very much. Mm -hmm. I got to actually start the stove. It doesn't start by itself. I got to find a lighter. <laughs> well, I'm not working on Saturday. Howard, I'm just showing him something. What do you mean? I'm not only working, but I'm lying now. Well, you're right, I'm working. Well, it, this isn't working. Filming is working. I, okay, I understand now. You're saying that since I'm filming, I'm working on Shabbat. But what I'm saying is, I was going to show him this thing, and that's why I'm filming. <sighs> so I guess you're right, you know, we don't work on Shabbat. That's the one day that we can just hang out and not work. But look, I w there was this hummingbird, and she said, I saw this thing in your house, and I didn't see it filled with anything. So I I was going to do a video on how to feed a hummingbird, but then you said, I'm working, so I guess I'm not going to do anything today. <laughs> but anyway, you know, I saw this hummingbird, <laughs> and he said, hey, this thing needs to be filled up, so I'm going to... I think I'm going to figure out what to do with this because I've never used one of these before. I mean, I put water in there and it came out. I don't know. It's old. I've got it alongside the road free. I want to make sure it's clean so they don't get... What? Cleaning is working on Shabbat too. Howard's having a big problem with this. 
What kind of stuff do you do on Shabbat? I'm just goofing around. I'm not working really. But he says I am working because I'm filming. I am filming. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to go look at butterflies now. And I know just right where I'm going to put it too. But wait a minute. I think I need to go in. I started, I started heating the water and then I came out here. And Howard's saying, yeah, well, you're working during Shabbat. And that's why things are going to blow up in your house. You got a big fire in there now because you're out here working. Well, Howard, you're not nice to me. You're kind of like the Pharisees. That's kind of what the Pharisees were like. Yeshua was just doing his thing and he was healing people. And the, the Pharisees were like, Howard here. They were going, well, you're healing on the Shabbat. And he's like, I ain't doing nothing. And now you're lying about it. <clears throat> That's what it was about. Anyway, I better, I better get in the house because I'm, you're, right, you're right, I'm working with that too. Anyway, I'm going to go in there because the hummingbird stuff is going to be ready for me to cool down now. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. He's right though. I'm kind of working on Shabbat. <laughs> the reason why I don't work on Saturday is because it makes it so much more fun to work the rest of the days. <laughs> well, I have a lot of hummingbird paintings, but painting without even knowing what it's like or who they are, I don't know, it's just painting a picture. But I did want to tell you this one. It's one of my best. If you go to the Watercolor Art Society, you'll find out that when you leave the whites, you actually make an excellent painting. And this picture, I am so proud. Look at the wing. It isn't really there. In your imagination, it's there. But I left the white of the paper. If you really look at it carefully, there isn't any paint there. And in your brain, you're thinking, yeah, that's a wing. But in all reality, there's no wing. It's using the white of the paper. And this other one, this Hummer, the blue Hummer, is actually one that I use for my cards. And I sell a lot of those. But anyway, what is it going to look like now that I'm really getting to know what the animals really like? So my bedroom is right here. And I put the hummingbird feeder right here. So if I'm laying in bed and can't move around at all, and they come to feed, I'll be able to watch them. Anyway, I started painting our portraits, but I got a little stuck. Maybe if I change the angle up a little bit, we can do that with a projector. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, Lord bless this little hummingbird feeder. And thank you for blessing me with hummingbirds. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Earthlings. I'm getting ready to paint this hummingbird. Now, I've painted hummingbirds before. I know what they look like, but I never really met one in person before. So now that I've had a chance to kind of get to know them, I'm going to take part of my video and I'm going to take out the part where I want to paint and then I'm going to paint from there. I'm uh, using the projector but this is going to be simple simple simple. You just put on your video that you did of your bird and then you scroll to where it's just perfect and then you project it and you paint it. It's probably the simplest way that you can get what's real into your watercolor. Does that make sense at all? I'm sure once I get it going, it will. So I have this on my computer here and I was going to go through and look at it with my glasses on. Maybe you can come over here. Would you like that? I know you love it. What do we got here? Well, I feel like I'm going to be part of the airport thing, so I have to learn how to use all these things. The machines I know, it's just two laptops. I got one that's set up to my, and another one is recording. Well, that's what I'm doing right now. That's kind of my thing. Okay, so now here we have it. You see it? See what's going on? 
you're way over there. But okay. So I'll just show you anyway. <laughs> I'm going to take this picture here. And I'm going to go along, save photos. You know how to do that? You do? Oh, great. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to do this, and once I get it to the place where I want it to be, isn't that thing cute? Look how Lily is. Comes in the morning. My bedroom's right there. He's pretty close to where I am. Anyway, that's how you get just the perfect picture to watercolor from. What was that, Howard? Oh no. <laughs> Your flamingos think it's a hummingbird. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work at all, Howard. <laughs> Well, hummingbird adventure is so much fun. I hope you can find some hummingbirds in your yard, make them some little bit of a snack, feature some flowers that they like. You'll have hummingbirds humming and making all that funny noise all day long. Until later, I hope you find your hummingbirds. I hope you find your yacht. I'm going to work. <laughs> We're gonna find some other birds maybe in our neighborhood. They need to be friended. Oh no. <laughs> Your flamingos think it's a hummingbird. 